Hi guys, welcome back to another YouTube channel. My name is Tommy and thank you so much for tuning in. As you can tell by the title, today I'll be reviewing my first um, my first set of collection of the Arab perfumes. So yeah, this is like the entry level of the collection of Arab perfumes. So Arab perfumes are typically a lot more affordable than you know your typical designer perfumes and they have a lot of boobs. <laughs> Uh, I'm kidding, they have a lot of dupes and I feel like that's why they've gained so much popularity um, Especially since late last year they've started get, gaining a lot of popularity And so I'm also joined the club and I'm also going to be doing a little bit of a review Yes, the prices and where you can get them and so on and so forth So the first fragrance I'll be talking about is this tiny little one it's by so it's soft by Alder Hub. So this is an oil-based um, fragrance. So this is amazing for people that typically have nasal issues such as sinuses and stuff like that. And another advantage with this one, this literally sticks to your clothes because remember it's oil-based, and you literally just need to put it at your pulse point, even behind your knees, and it will last and it will spread. But now here's the thing: when you first put it on, it is super super strong. Not terribly strong because you want to choke because there's no alcohol in this, right? But it'll be a bit overwhelming. But over time, it will last. Like people will like tell that it's you by your fragrance. It's it's more like like a signature, you know. And yeah, so this one retails for about 90 rand, but not this little one. They come in a set of four, this size. They all the size. So if you wanna try it, I'll just first start off with this size and then just figure out if it's your favorite scent, if you like it or not. And you can literally get this size for like 30 bucks. Yeah, yeah, not lying. Yeah, no, you can get this size for 30 rand at um, Oriental Plaza. Not typically inside the store, but like in surrounding shops, you know, you know where they sell the hookers and stuff like that. You get the, the ones that where they sell perfumes and you can get this. There's like tons of them. There's tons of oil-based fragrances fragrances there but I went for this one just because of familiarity I know this one and it was highly recommended to me so the top notes would be caramel and citrus and the middle notes will be white mask orchard and vanilla and the base notes so it has jasmine and woody note and most male fragrances have woody notes hence male scents just stick <laughs> so I mean we can always get our own female oh no feminine ones but as long as it has woody notes it will last that's on period and then my other um piece to the collection would be pandora by mason the perfumery paris corner this is basically i think it might be a baccarat dupe i think it might be so this one is very strong and it's super woody and it's actually a unisex um perfume so this one also lasts and Honestly, I wouldn't mind hugging a guy that smells like this. I really wouldn't. Um, so yeah, I like the packaging as well. Very cute, very exp looks expensive, but this retail for just 200 rand. Then I guys let you know how much this cost? I don't know. 30 rand for the small one, and then the whole pack is 90 bucks, and consisting of 60. Surrounding um, Oriental Plaza. At Oriental Plaza, at Rio Perfumes, this smells very spicy has lots of woody notes and a little bit of citrus but i'll let you guys know the base notes just now and typically this scent can be a bit overpowering for me i like not really overpowering but i'd like to like mix it with like a softer scent which is the one i'm gonna review next so yeah so some of the notes with the um on the pandora Rouge top notes would include be bitter almond and saffron i agree and then the middle notes would be Egyptian jasmine and cedar. And the base note, this it has musk and woody notes and amber grips. So that's it for that. And then my next perfume, my next piece to the to the, to the collection is my ultimate favorite. This was the second to the collection after the soft but by Al Rahab. This is Yara by Latafa. Now I know there's a trend on TikTok where people are like. Is they crack in this and i agree all the type of fragrances smell good and i know this because there's some i want to try because i have sampled them um at the store at rear perfume because they do allow you to do that i hope they do allow everyone to do that <laughs> so um yeah there's so many other ones i'd like to go for but this one came highly recommended from 
TikTok. I'll so this see. is a very, very feminine, powdery, vanilla -y scent. I absolutely like it. It's very big. I'm not sure how many miles this one is. I'm really not sure because it doesn't even say at the bottom. I'm sure it's said on the box, but I threw the box away. So I typically like to mix this one. Side note. Mix this one with this one. So it would be a little bit less of this one and more of the powdery vanilla -y scent. Because of the woody notes in this one, it really just pushes out and like, you know, make make this one last. This one also has woody notes, but the woody notes in this one are a lot, a lot, are a lot stronger. So I'd spray this one. Followed by this one, and then the, the scent will last me the whole entire day, and I'll still smell feminine because I like smell fem smelling feminine. So some of the notes on Yara are so the top notes will be um, Heliotrope, Orchard, and Tangerine, and the middle notes would be Gourmand Accord, Tropical Fruit, and Vanilla. And the base notes would be Mask and Sandalwood scents. Like I said. So my third, my fourth and last one would be um, Champ de Rose by Jacquesi Abyss. This is so strong, you guys. Like this is very, very, very strong. It is actually insanely strong, especially when you put it on the first time. Like the top notes are overpowering. Sometimes, like the first time I, the first couple of times I've tried it, they really give me a headache, and I felt a bit nauseous. But I sold it on because it lasted throughout the whole entire day. I got compliments. People were like, you smell good. What are you wearing? But honestly, if you have strong nasal issues like sinuses, leave it alone. Leave it alone. And if it's summer too, leave it alone. Or if it's one of those days where it's like super, super um, hot, leave it alone. You're going to make people around you throw up. <laughs> But honestly, it's more good than it is bad. I'm just saying the first note can be so overpowering. Just ignore it, soldier through it. You'll smell good throughout the day. When it sits, it's amazing. So some of the notes in the chapter of perfume are, so the top notes would be peach, green notes, and black currant. Yeah, <laughs> picking up on the black currant. And the middle notes would be May rose, t Turkish rose, and Irish rose. And then the base note would be white musk. Cedar, pepper, and orris roots and violet leaf. And yeah, so I don't typically pair this one with anything. I just survived through it. So to make it last, I also spray it on my hair. I'm wearing this one right now. But it's already set. I put it on this morning. It's like the afternoon now. But yeah, I also spray it on my hair and my locks. It lasts, you know. Kind of when I do a flip, if I can catch the whiff. <laughs> so with that being said, that's the end of my first leg or entry level of Arab perfume collection i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys on my next video vlog tutorial or review bye